everybody this is Nick here with a short tutorial I was watching this uh, new Mac DeMarco pepperoni playboy documentary produced by Pitchfork and I got about five seconds in uh, before kind of wondering what they did with the type so this is what I'm talking about so yeah we got this like kind of wiggly type um, but the paths of the text aren't moving actually each letter is kind of moving on its own individually and it's kind of a nice effect it's it's a little different from the played out kind of wiggle vision uh, kind of thing that's been done to death and there's tons of tutorials out there so I saw that and I kind of wanted to know how they did it because really the first thing I think of when I look at things like that is like wow I could just manually do that but then I went to the end and figured that they probably used it for the credits as well. I'm not sure if I can find an example buried back here. Um, so yeah, they use that same look throughout all these credits. So I figured somebody probably figured out a quick way to do this, a great way to do this with After Effects. Um, so I started messing with After Effects and I came up with something um, so let me open up After Effects here and do a new composition, do a 1080 composition, what the hell, yeah, perfect, um, and yeah, just make some type, so make some type, and say Mac DeMarco, and find a font that's kind of similar to what they use, which Ostrich Sands should look nice. And you can get this font on um, for free on League of Movable Type. Pretty good font, really thin, nice all caps looking thing. I'm not sure if it's exactly what they used, but it's somewhat close, right? So first thing I kind of did was um, kind of looked at, you know, how to make an animator out of this instead of taking each individual letter and kind of moving it all around which would take forever and it doesn't get that kind of randomness um, so I did a position animator and just kinda of skewed it to the side somewhere and of course it's not going to do anything because my range is not animated and that's how this works right so if I animated the range, then I would get like a left to right animation or a right to left animation, which is not what I want for this. So I was thinking like, how can I get this kind of randomly affecting? And I found something that is kind of new to me and I never really mess with the add selector. So if you go to add property, which is where I usually go, there's selector underneath of it and range is your traditional and if you pick wiggly you get a wiggly selector which adds randomness to your animation <clears throat> and it kind of picks things sorry I just uh, screwed this up here um, kind of picks things at random right so I got I ramped this up way too much for the effect that I'm going for but we got this kind of like really hazy and, and now kind of random animation on this text which is close to what we want right this is in the ballpark but if we go back and show it again we get this kind of um, almost like the letters are animating on hold keyframes and they're not interpolated at all and right now this is automatically kind of smoothing everything out adding the the extra frames in between so uh, to get the full effect I moved it into a new comp kind of pre comp this text and went over to my posterized time effect and right now I'm at close to 30 frames per second this by default makes it 
more to like 24 frames a second, which gives it kind of that film flicker effect, which is cool. But if I move this down to six, then I have something that's a little bit more herky jerky and a little bit closer to what I want. So I can go back, I can say like, you know, I don't want this really moving at all on the zero or the, on the Y axis. Just want them kind of moving back and forth. Then I get this kind of, so it's not exactly the effect. Uh, I'm sure if I played around with these a little bit more, um, we would get something like more similar, but it's a start and that's really all I'm kind of looking for anyway. I just kind of wanted to get in the ballpark so I can kind of use this effect on my own or play around with it, create something new. So yeah, I hope that's helpful. I'll be messing around with that and you know, you know whoever came up with this look at uh, Pitchfork, gotta give props there. Um, and a great documentary.